Right, we're going to change the oil in the transfer case at the moment. Um, obviously if you have a transfer guard in place you'll need to remove that. That will attach just there, just there, and you'll have two bolts poking out just there. And I've already removed mine because I've just fitted the uh, replacement mount which you can just see uh, but before we start on this before you start emptying any oil make sure you can get it oil back in it so the filler plug is just there so make sure that you can get loose before you do the drain plug so I'll, uh, I'll have a quick look at that just using normal socket that one's loose get loose. Right, I'll have another look at that in a second. Right, I have to get the big bar out to free that off. But we've now got oh, to the point where we can take the uh, filler plug that's moving. We know that's loose so we'll, uh, we'll take those out and get them uh, get that oil drained. See if we can do this without making a mess. <sighs> what a lovely colour. I think there might be a little bit of water in that. But it does go swimming a lot. Let's take out the fillet. for 10 or 15 minutes while I go and uh, have a cup of and let that drain. Right, that's been left long enough now so we'll get that put back together. And, uh, and right down. Yeah, crap in that. Hello.
What have I done with that? There it is. Let's get that put back on. do and what we'll do when we're finished we'll give it a spray of uh, cleaner and then we can keep a check on it see if it's making any leaks right we'll get to uh, get the fresh oil and get that pumped in finding out how much oil this takes because I don't actually know I'm just going until it starts leaking out but uh, I don't think it's going to take too much right the oil started dripping out of the uh, filler plug so that's been wiped and we've fitted that back in So all we need to do now is refit the guard. The easiest way I've found to do with that is use the uh, the jack to hold it in place. So I'll get that done, and then we're uh, we're good to go. Right, this is the oil we've used for both the transfer box and the gearbox oil. Uh, I did the gearbox uh, before I did this. I know this is not the recommended oil, but it is a bit cheaper. I've used it before and never had any issues with it, so that's what I'm sticking with. One thing I will say is this is what I used to put the oil back in, but if I'm honest, I'm not impressed. Uh, constantly leaks, no matter what I do with it. Um, so I may have to change this for, for something else. <laughs> 